is with our internet expert tonight, Charles Tendelli. He's talking about internet crimes and basically what we can do about it, right? It's basically the evolution of cyber crimes and how of where, where they started and where they are today is a completely different place. Charles mm -hmm. Tendell, a digital investigator, is here all the time with us to explain what all this means. You know, the tales of this Twitter attack last week, the one again today, you know, cyber crimes just really out of control. Well, it's, it's a growing trend and mm -hmm. mostly because it brings crimes and criminal methodologies right to the person's living room or their personal computer. And I mean, it makes makes invading someone's privacy much easier. Now it started it, it was one way and it kind of evolved and keeps moving on and keeps changing as right. technology changes. Right. Well I mean like you think originally when, when thing, people were thinking about stealing identities or stealing credit cards or anything it was a, a pit pocket. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays you get people who are doing password sniffing where they're actually sitting in, in public places and pulling down your passwords from various different places. You go and you get, oh there you go, and then you get to how they sit around and they just grab your passwords and want to see or your wireless information. They want to see what's where, who's doing what, mm -hmm. and they can pull out your information. And actually, this one was pretty live. And let's see, the carjacking. And that's real, like, that was real basic, you know, hacking oh, yeah. to begin with. And then it kind of evolved to hijacking an entire computer. Exactly. When you get into hijacking an entire computer, it's kind of like carjacking from back in the day. <laughs> yeah. People remember where somebody would just jump on and steal your computer. But remember, we were talking about the ActiveX controls mm -hmm. once before mm -hmm. where people could, you go to a website and they can actually steal some information and put some code into your computer and actually get your computer to do whatever it is they want you to do, what you want your computer to do. And then identity theft, that's the one thing that people are really paying attention to these days, you know, protecting their purses from people stealing their wallets and mm -hmm. things like that. That's kind of where, uh, that's the thing that I think people are most aware of when it comes to that right. kind of identity. And when it comes, to, when it comes down to the identity theft mm -hmm. portion, it's, it's using the right kind of passwords, it's using the right kind of uh, mindset when you're operating online. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go to various different places where people can just, you, you use a, the name of your pet or your dog or something on your computer system. Somebody's going to figure out that information. They can steal your information. And that's what you do. Tell me more about how, you know, when it comes to uh, computer viruses and investigating, what exactly do you do for these people who come to you with problems? Well, as a digital investigator, what I do is we, we find the smoking gun, mm -hmm. the evidence of or the lack thereof of something that's gone wrong on somebody's computer, whether it be um, I suspect that my computer got hijacked or say we're in a legal situation where somebody suspects somebody stealing information. Mm -hmm. um, we can identify where that information went, where it's coming Ooh. from, who did it, how they did it, when they did it. Uh -huh. um, and based on various different tidbits of information inside the case, we can actually piece it all back together. And that's and usually forward. not something someone can do by themselves. They need no, help. You really need somebody like myself or one of my staff mm -hmm. to do that. Now, the yeah. evolution of the cyber crimes, it's moving and it's changing as technology grows and people yep. are getting more savvy and, and how to steal your information. And one of the things we were talking about before the show is how cell phones are becoming more vulnerable yeah. and that's kind of where the future of these crimes are going. Right. Well, think about it. When was the last time your phone just made phone calls? Mm -hmm. You know, and now we've got the technology where we can wirelessly sync with every device possible. We can sync with, you know, Bluetooth devices. And there was actually a technique out there where you can hack a phone via Bluetooth and steal people's information. That's Everybody scary. remembers way back when uh, Paris Hilton got her information mm -hmm, stolen. Mm -hmm. Similar type of attack is becoming more prevalent nowadays, where people are driving down the roads and intercepting cell phone uh, conversations via Bluetooth wireless headsets or being able to download contact information directly out of a system to do it. Now, what you want to do to protect your cell phone is, you know, passwords and things like right. that, right? Well, the, all your cell phones have the passcode on it. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, everybody remembers it. You go to pair your Bluetooth that says enter this passcode or whatever, whatever. When you set that passcode, set a strong passcode. Don't mm -hmm. set a default. Just continue going with the, you know, oh, it's all zeros. It works, you know. People mm -hmm. have settled in. They've gotten complacent and settled into the out of the box. It works. Mm -hmm. Change your password to something unique. and it'll negate the possibility of losing a lot of your information. All right, Charles Tendel, you're going to be in our chat room answering questions. If you have mm -hmm. any questions about uh, cyber attacks, cyber crimes, things like that, he's going to be in our chat room till 8 o'clock. So log on to news.com and ask him a question. Kelly? Yeah, a lot of people in the chat room always asking Charles questions, oh, yeah. including all of us so here much in the newsroom. All right, thanks, guys. All right.